I don't know how to take the first step. All right, we're back today in Reddit social skills. The question comes from Hector2470, and he asks, tips to talk to unknown people. I'm not shy, but I can't take the first step to talk to someone that I don't know. I always wait for them to talk to me first, ha ha. Okay, Hector is not shy, but he can't take the first step, doesn't know how to take the first step in initiating conversation. He waits for people to initiate conversation with him. This is pretty common. Uh, it's not easy to open or initiate conversation with someone if you haven't started, if you haven't been doing that already. If you're the kind of person who naturally is outgoing, who naturally starts conversations with people, initiates connections, then, then yeah, it's easy. Or if you've been practicing it for a long time, like over a decade, then it can become easy. But if it's not naturally easy for you now, like it wasn't for me, then there are some tips that can help you, okay? As far as initiating a connection or a conversation, probably the first thing that I would tell you is to lower your standards for what is good enough to say to someone, okay? We always put this pressure on ourselves, those of us who struggle with this, to say something awesome or be really cool or be funny, to provide something valuable in your expression and speech and way of being that makes the other person like you. We wanna be liked and accepted and respected so it's natural to feel a bit of pressure when trying to initiate a conversation or connection. It's natural. Shouldn't feel bad for, for feeling that way. Now, that being said, that pressure, it's sort of based on a bullshit idea in our head that, again, whatever we say needs to be cool or funny or awesome. It doesn't. It really doesn't. You can lower that bar as low as low as you can and it'll still probably be too high. I mean, all you need to initiate a connection is just to make a sound or to have to share, to lock eyes. That's all it takes. I mean, you could literally cluck like a chicken. Um, <laughs> just or yeah, like look at literally anything, any sound, whatever. It does not matter. Whatever, as low as the bar is, is you can lower it. Sorry, as low as your standards. Can I speak English today? As low as you can make your standards, the better. Because again, however low you can get them, it's still gonna be higher than as low as they could be. All right, and uh, let me just clarify what I mean here. If you have this, thing in your head that tells you that whatever you say needs to be really cool to initiate a connection. You're gonna feel, you're gonna feel awkward because what you're trying to do is conjure some amazing phrase, joke, story, line that's going to magically or otherwise make the person in front of you like you as soon as possible, okay? Probably you relate. But people don't, people don't really care about what you say to initiate a connection. In fact, if you're, if you're struggling with this problem, it probably means that you're putting too much pressure on yourself in general to socialize in a different way than you would naturally. So I've talked about this before, but I'll tell you again here, this is, a, this is the expression versus impression scenario, dichotomy, psych, psych, oh, I don't, mm, psycho, something. I should come up with a word. It's express, the idea that we're talking about here is expression versus impression, as opposed to trying to make an impression on someone, a good impression, by thinking of some cool things that you think they would wanna hear from you so they like the thing you're projecting, 
which takes a whole bunch of mental effort and stress, not to mention the fact that you're telling yourself that who you are isn't good enough. And so you need to come up with all this other shit that isn't you in order to impress the person in front of you. So you're, not only does it take all this extra effort and it's less effective, but you're also like solidifying bad beliefs. You're also cementing your esteem level to be lower than, than it should and could be by, by, by acting that way. Okay, the other way is to focus on expressing yourself as opposed to worrying about the impression you're making on other people and what they think of you and what they think of the things that you're saying. You focus on yourself. Who are you? Who do you want to be? Who do you feel like becoming? Who are you now? Uh, what do you feel? Express those things. There are polar opposites as far as your intention. One of them, you're focused on expressing who you are, being yourself, regardless of what everyone else thinks, so that you feel good that you are who you are. You feel good expressing yourself, who you are. And you put yourself on the line. And you say, that's me. This is what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to be me. Go ahead and reject it. I'm, I've accepted it. That's kind of the vibe. And impression is like, you're pretending to be this other thing and put on this other face and this act so that someone else will like, will like you, but it's not even really you. And you know that, and that's why it's harmful. Because to try to impress someone else, you're just telling yourself that you don't, you don't believe you're enough, okay? As you are. So, So as far as conversation goes and in initiating a connection, you want to lower that bar and focus more on expressing yourself. And it can be silly duck noises, it can be dumb jokes that no one laughs at. As long as you think it's funny, as long as it's coming from you and you feel that that's in you, let it out. That's you. Express you. You don't have to hide it or change it or cover it up or pretend or anything. Be you. Um, let it out. Start to accept who you are and express that. Of course, it's going to take a little bit of time to get comfortable, but that's the bulk of the advice as far as a, as far as a theoretical model to, to look at, to look at this situation through. It's a lens that you can look at this situation through, but more, um, okay, like more practical advice. You, you want to basically fail for, like fail more. Fail more, allow yourself to fail more. Your deal of failure right now is that if you say something to someone and it doesn't immediately start, I don't know, a cool conversation or if it dies out very quickly, then you think that's a failure in your head, at least somewhat. That's just roll with me here. If that's the case, Again, that's the bar too high. So you gotta make the success bar not something that starts a conversation, not something that creates this amazing long connection, nothing like that. Just make your bar of success if you say something, if you express yourself, if you're honest, if you're true, if you're real, if you're genuine, if you're authentic, make that your new bar, okay? Place very, like remove all the importance from how someone responds to your conversation and place all that importance instead on how do you feel and are you saying that? So you could just literally just talk about whatever's going on with you. You could be like, you know, instead of waiting for someone to initiate a conversation with you, um, you could just talk about anything that's going on in your life. Yeah, I had a grilled cheese sandwich earlier. Man, it was like a little bit too spicy. I was trying to, I thought that I was putting in pepper, but it was actually like cayenne or whatever. I don't know doesn't matter what you're saying literally doesn't matter okay so you can remove that whole idea of your mind out of your mind that it has to be perfect or special whatever it is you say it doesn't it really doesn't it just takes some time for you to get comfortable talking about anything and so lower the bar start taking baby steps I suggest you start introducing yourself to people when you can okay look up check out my video called behaviors that make people like you more using names up there I think 
and that one talks a little bit about how you can start to build a little bit of a network and, and build a social flow around you and your community. I suggest that as well. Um, and really just the rest of the videos on my channel will help you. So I hope that this was helpful for you in 10 minutes. I appreciate you spending the time to watch the video. If you did enjoy it, if you got some value, please hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment if you have any feedback. I always appreciate reading your comments uh, and any feedback, negative or positive. And of course, if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell. If it's not your type of thing, no worries at all, okay? Thank you so much again, I appreciate you. This is Alexander Leslie Walton, I'm signing out. On to the next video.